Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to explore the mean, variance, standard deviation, and expectation of discrete probability distribution. First, we are going to quickly look at the formulas to calculate each of these. The mean of the random variable x with the discrete probability distribution is given by this formula. Mean equal to sum of the random variable x times the probability of x. So if we can find the sum of x times p of x, that will be the mean. Mean is sometimes called the expected value. That's why the formula for the mean and the expected value is same. The expected value of the discrete random variable x of a probability distribution is the average or the mean. So we have the same formula for the calculation of expected value, although they are sometimes worded as mean and sometimes as expected value, they are exactly the same thing. The third thing that we are going to calculate here is the variance. And you already know that the variance is the square of the standard deviation. So once we can find the value of variance, if we take the square root, then we can find the standard deviation. The variance of the discrete random variable x is the weighted mean of the square deviation of the possible values of x from the mean, that is the definition, and it's calculated using this formula here, sigma squared, which is variance, equal to sum of x minus mean squared times p of x, and mean is calculated using that formula. And if we take the square root of this, that is the standard deviation. Here is our first example. Let x be the random variable with the following probability distribution. Find the expectation e of x or expected value and the variance of x. We find the expectation or mean using this formula. We need x times p of x. We already have x. We have p of x. So in next, we need x times p of x. So that's what we are going to find here. So let's multiply x times p of x. So 10 times 0 0.05, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Next, we have 20 times 0 0.7, which is 14. Next is 30 times 0 0.15, which is 4.5, 4 4.5. And the last one is 40 times 0 0.1, which is equal to 4. So the expectation, which we are asked to find here, expectation, that is E of X or mean, is the sum of X times P of X. Now let's add these values, 0.5 plus 14 plus 4.5 plus 4, that is equal to 23. So the expectation or the average value is 23. Now, next is we need to find the variance. Variance is given by this formula. We need x minus mean squared times p of x. So here in next row, we are going to find the value of x minus the mean, which is 23. We square that and multiply by p of x. Let's see what we'll get in each case here. So the first one, we have x minus 23 squared. So it is 10 minus 23, which is negative 13. And when you square that, it is negative 13 times negative 13, which is 169. And we multiply by probability, which is 0 0.05. And you will get the first value over here. The the probability is 0 0.05. So if you multiply by 0 0.05, you will get 8.45. So this is 8.45. Next is 20. So 20 minus 23. 20, if you subtract 20 minus 23, you should get negative 3. And when you square that, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. And we multiply by p of x, which is 0 0.7. So 9 times 0 0.7, you should get 6.3.
So this is 6.3. Next we have 30. So 30 minus the mean, which is 23, the result is 7. And when you square that, 7 squared is 49. After you get that 49, we multiply by the probability because we have x minus mean squared times the probability and we are multiplying by 0.15. So 49 times 0.15 is 7.35. So this is 7.35. Now the last one, we have 40. 40 minus the mean, which is 23, that is equal to 17. And then this is squared, so 17 times 17, 289. 289 times the probability, which is 0.1, and you should get 28.9. So this value is 28.9. Now we have everything ready. So the variance is the sum of all this. So if we add all those, that you'll get the variance. So variance, let me write here, variance of the variable, random variable x, is x minus mean squared times p of x. In our case, the mean is 23, so this is x minus 23 squared times p of x. So the sum of all that, we are adding this, so it is the sum of all those, so if we add the values here, x minus 23 squared times p of x, if we add all those, so it is 8.45 plus 6.3 plus 7.35 plus 28.9, you will get 51. So the variance is 51. So we got the expected value and the variance. In this problem, we are not asked to find the standard deviation. If you are asked to find the standard deviation, then it will be the square root of the variance. This is not asked, but I'm just showing you so that you know exactly how to find the standard deviation. So it is the square root of the variance, which is square root of 51. So if you find the square root of 51 using your calculator, you should get 7.1414. So that is the standard deviation. Once we know the variance, we can take the square root of the variance that will give you the standard deviation. Okay, so that is the end of this first example. Let's look at second example on the calculation of um, the expectation or average value and variance. Let's see what we have. Here is that example. At a raffle, 1,000 tickets are sold. So 1,000 is the total number of tickets sold. At $3 each for four prizes. So the cost of one ticket is $3 and they are giving out four prizes. The first one is $500, the second is $300, these are the prizes, uh, $200 or $100. That is you are paying $3 and you are either getting $500 or $300 or $200 or $100 as the gain or the price for the ticket. So we have to find what is the expected value of gain if you buy one ticket. So you just bought one ticket. Let's see what will be the gain. So if you think of gain, let's find out. For example, you paid, you paid $3 and you got $500. In that case, your gain will be 500 minus 3, which is 497. 497. So if you get $500, your gain is $497. Similarly, if you gain, or if you get a price of $300, your gain is 300 minus 3, which is $297. $297. So this is the gain in dollar. If you, if you get a price of $200, 200 minus 3, your gain is $197. So your next gain is 
$197, $197. Similarly, if you gain or if you get a price of $100, you'll get $97. That's your gain. Your gain is $97. But if you don't get any of this price, you didn't get these four prizes, that means you are losing everything, you'll be losing $3. So that will be negative 3. So these are your random variable, 497, that's your gain, because we are calculating the expected value of the gain. So we are calculating the expected value of the gain. So gain is the random variable. In order to find the expected value, if you remember the formula, the expected value is the mean, which is sum of x times p of x. So we have the random variable x, now we need the probability for each. We need the probability for each. So the probability of gaining $497 because they are giving four prizes. So one $500, one $300, one $200, and one $100. They sold 1,000 tickets. So that means probability of gaining 497 is one out of 1,000. So this is one over 1,000. Next is Probability of gaining 297, that is also they are giving 1, 1 out of 1000. Probability of getting 197, that is 1 out of 1000 also, 1 out of 1000. And this one, it is also 1 out of 1000. These are the probability of gaining. But probability of losing, they will give only 4 prizes out of 1000. So 1000 minus 4 is 996. So 996 out of 1000, that is how much you lose. That's the probability of losing. Now, once we have X and P of X, all we have to do is multiply those two and add them together. So I can say the expected value is equal to, we multiply, okay, X and P of X and add together. So 497 times one over 1000, is 497 over 1000. Then plus we are adding 297 multiplied to 1000 which is 297 over 1000. 297 times 1 over 1000. 197 times 1 over 1000 is 197 over 1000. 97 times 1 over 1000 that is 97 over 1000, 97 over 1000. Then the last one is negative. So if we multiply, we will get the negative result. So here we need to multiply this. We have negative three. So it is three times 996. So it is three times 996, which is 2988. Two 988 over 1000. This is plus. First four are plus. So we are multiplying this, multiplying this, multiplying this. We are adding. In fact, we are also adding this, but we are adding a negative. That means it is subtraction. We have the common denominator. So your denominator will be 1000. Okay, denominator will be 1000. No doubt on that. All we have to do is add the numerators, 497 plus 297 plus 197 plus 97, then minus 2988. So that is equal to negative 1900 over 1000. So this is, if you change this to decimal, this would be negative $1.9. Negative $1.9. So there is the total expectation of not gain actually, it's a loss. We are calculating the gain, but we got a negative sign there. So if you just buy one ticket here, you'll have the average loss of negative $1.9. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.